second attempt. I've trimmed some of the flange or rim or whatever you want to call it off the edge of the wheels to make them a bit smaller. And I'm using this uh, bogey set, I think you could probably call it, from the original train to give us the flexibility for the front end. I think we'll get a bit of wheel spin. Yeah, we will. Well, that's better than before. That's an improvement because we couldn't move at all on the curved track before. Whereas now we've just achieved about a third of a circle there. I'm just going to try it with a shorter wheelbase. See if that helps it go round the track. Instant success. Well, instant improvement. It looks odd, but I was looking at the original electric train that runs on this track. And the distance between those wheels there, which are the fixed wheels, is much shorter than I had like that. So that was making it, well the long wheelbase doesn't like a tight turn, whereas the shorter wheelbase, and it can go round the turn much easier. It looks odd because the front is sticking right off the track, but it does go round. I'll just wind that up one more time and try it again. In case you're wondering, I'm stretching the rubber band at the same time as winding it on so I can get more turns on there. Because with the little wheels you don't get the same sort of distance as you would with a normal rubber band powered car with CDs for wheels. Because each turn is only taking you a short distance compared to the distance a CD would do. lead weight back in place so that's slipped okay here we go again yeah we're getting about three quarters of a turn now three quarters of a circuit I think that'll do for me I could keep fiddling around with it and trying to improve it to get the full 360 degrees but I think I've learnt enough there and we'll move on to making it electric powered <laughs> 